Hallo und guten Morgen von der Aero 2025. Ich bin heute hier am Stand bei der Porto Aviation Group. Ich habe hier Andrea Venturini. Das Interview führen wir jetzt in Englisch, aber ich hoffe, ihr kommt damit zurecht. Und außerdem gibt es ja ein paar schöne Bilder. Buongiorno, Andrea. Buongiorno. Um, thank you so much for coming and visit us. Uh, I am in charge of marketing communication. I'm also a pilot. I'm one of the two pilots who, with the extraordinary reason performance, we crossed the Atlantic Ocean last summer and we did something that was never done before, extraordinary. It's, the idea is to cross the ocean without stopping for refueling and um, using only ordinary tanks, no ferry tanks. So for pilots that know this is something that has not uh, been possible so far, and even the bigger planes, that they, they cannot do it. We were able, uh, leaving uh, uh, Stornoway, Scotland, with 220 liters, and we reached in one straight line uh, Goose Bay Harbor in Canada after 11 and a half hours, and we still had uh, uh, plenty, three hours of fuel uh, reserve. Yeah, the efficiency is really great. The efficiency yeah, is the other spectrum of the plane. The reason is the fastest uh, uh, ultralight in the world. We used to have the record for 428, but last month, uh, good news, we beat our own record with the new 916 engine, and we are actually now at uh, our, uh, 450 have been recorded and registered uh, with a special uh, logger we have a certified speed mm -hmm. okay yeah that's great that's really really fast as you said it's a really fast uh, plane but uh, it can uh, it can it's a it's a special machine that you can see it on two different sides you want the performance and the speed because you are a racer then you you race let's say you are a professional that wants uh, to travel around Europe and you want to do uh, your own trip with your Your own plane like a private mini private jet well then you can do 1,000 kilometers in less than three hours in two hours and a half 1,000 kilometers and the consumption will be ridiculous we're talking about 20 liters per hour uh, 25 if you go at 350 if you go at 200 uh, uh, kilometers an hour you only use six seven liters per hour you are really communication professional thank you so much <laughs> well okay. you are a pleasant person and we're glad that you came and visit us at our booth there are some questions i have concerning yes. registration in the for in the different countries yes what i learned is at the moment in germany it's uh, possible to register as a german microlite with the 912 is yes correct? the 912 has been certified yeah. we're also certifying it because it's new the 916 and the process is almost over so very quickly we will have uh, the 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 german um, uh, certification and then you can fly ultralight the 916. what we find very interesting a lot of our clients that like the the performance of our plane around the world both in america but in europe as well they want to use our plane at the higher level ifr level our plane is not uh, of the same family as the ultralight it's only because of the law the restriction that makes it belong to the but our plane it belongs to the to the bigger brothers and so what people do papa hotel in holland they've been very accommodating they they're very quick with the process and so uh, through the experimental category you can have a, a full ifr plane of course uh, the only limitation is no no icing condition but anything else uh, there is a um, We have uh, uh, auto landing almost, uh, not not quite to the runway, but you can uh, press a button, and with the new Garmin, you can uh, you can basically arrive uh, just on the long final, and yeah. you are very safe. And so for the U.S., it's possible to register as an experimental tool. Yeah. Yes. So in America because uh, the, the new law uh, is not being implemented mosaics is supposed to come in maybe 2025 so at the moment uh, all the americans uh, it's a self-built uh, uh, experimental they come to our factory and they do the the building necessary and the pay and uh, we, we release the paper and then in america the client takes care of uh, all the papers and uh, and okay please tell me how many Reason are at the moment flying worldwide. At the, right. at the moment, uh, we have more than 50. We okay. uh, last month uh, we rolled out of a factory in, in Cremella. Uh, Uh, the 50th uh, model and then we have assembly in Voghera where it's the maiden flight and you can see us flying you can come and visit us there means the whole assembly is in Italy 
the whole assembly is in Italy. There is one uh, exception. We have uh, one facility uh, uh, to make some part of the carbon fiber in uh, Serbia. It's our own factory, okay. but the pieces, they come uh, to our factory and then they are assembled. We make the wings, we made the tails, and uh, the undercarriage, uh, the, all the instruments are being assembled uh, um, in our uh, Bulgaria facility. And, uh, and of course, the Rotax engine is adapted for our plane. And yeah, from Austria, of course. May we take a look inside? Yes, please. okay. So usually you have uh, Garmin. We can also give the Dynon, but uh, all of our customers prefer the, yeah. the, the GX3. May I take a seat? We have yeah, talked we'll about it, we side. go to the other side. Yes. Okay. The plane uh, can be stepped in different ways. We have a system on the uh, with the plane behind me, the farther one, has uh, the bars, which are regular step. You step on that and then you go on the wing. But because of the performance, everybody wants to take away the bar and they want to step in like the racing kind, almost like a Formula One. So the, it's very easy. It's, it's actually easier what people think, but once you know how to do it. Seems to be easy. So let me try, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Left foot inside. Fantastic. Right foot inside. And now you're in. Thank you. I take the camera again. Yeah. Now, <laughs> what is, you have to imagine that I sat on this plane for 11 and a half hour across the ocean. And uh, you're a little bit taller than me. The, the pedals are adjustable, mm -hmm. about this much uh, okay. more or less. Yeah. And the seats is also adjustable uh, this way. It can be, you know, uh, tilted, mm -hmm. and so yeah. it can be higher if you're short. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. we have people uh, a little bit more than two meters. They they oh, purchase okay. the, the plane. We can adapt. We can do some ad adaptation, and uh, as you can see, there is no other uh, cockpit uh, with this uh, width. So. As you can see, the, the seats are adjustable. This is the new configuration. Now the seats can be tilted. And then also the pedals, uh, if you want to look inside, the pedals, uh, they have about a 10, 15 uh, uh, centimeters uh, um, extension. Most of our uh, planes are single uh, throttle. And uh, so that means the, 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 the propeller uh, can be operated by one leverage. In this case, as you see, they chosen to have a, also the standard um, the normal configuration, which other planes like uh, Piper has. And uh, uh, this one doesn't have a, a lot of people choose for the fly box. The fly box is a, is a automatic um, uh, constant pitch propeller controller. So the plane can be configured. We are uh, highly um, uh, focusing on uh, delivering a plane to the needs of the clients. Individual. Highly tailored, highly, highly tailored. You have a mission, we will go, uh, you know, in your direction. Cool. May I ask you about the bird strike? The, the, the bird strike, uh, it happened uh, uh, in a situation that is not a standard situation. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is a very important to know. Uh, it, it didn't happen at 18,000, it's uh, uh, around 15,000, 1470, something like that. So it, 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 we did some research. There are birds uh, in that specific valley. There is one type of smaller bird that uh, migrates in that period. And that is, uh, you know, that is the unfortunate event. We were uh, doing some tests and during the tests we were uh, attempting the record. The record was already done the day before and uh, it was 455 the new record that we registered with a special uh, logger so we have a certified flight unfortunately the next day while they were doing more uh, technical flights uh, Alberto was gonna plan to have the, the the record register with the FAI with a judge and uh, and have a with a with his wife uh, you know have the names and at that moment, the bird strike occurred. But uh, again, uh, it, it is very un uh, unusual and is very unique the fact that you that you have the proof of the safety of the plane. Uh, the the slanted canopy uh, allowed the impact not to be too too much uh, uh, in the answer. Basically, the the the, the parts uh, flew away. Uh, almost all the parts flew away, and then uh, Alberto flew for eight minutes, so that the plane was 100% flyable, even at that at that speed. 
uh, but what is important to know that those speeds are not speeds uh, that the clients are supposed yeah, to fly. Yeah, yeah. Alberto is a test pilot. Alberto is the owner of the uh, and the test uh, and the plane is a company plane. It's not a private plane. So of course that speed, that situation, no one can ever find itself. Uh, the deployment of the parachute was the most amazing thing. Uh, the plane came down and it's. Uh, once we change uh, the canopy, we're going to fly it again. Why did he use the parachute? Because of his eyes? Well, uh, yes, people? what happened is uh, um, uh, Sabina realized that Alberto was losing a lot of blood. Mm -hmm. And when you start losing a lot of blood, there's not so many minutes in which you can faint. And if you faint, Sabina had the, the hands totally burned by the, by the cold, and so she was not able to. Mm -hmm. So when you have two pilots uh, incapacitated, mm -hmm. and uh, you can really risk. And he flew for eight minutes. He was going to go. He he was almost uh, very close to the airport and he could have flown but uh, the blood uh, was all over he could not see anymore uh, the numbers on the instrument and they deployed the parachute why, why risk your life some people saying mm, was it really a bird or was it a physical effect of this very high speed that destroyed okay the we have uh, reasons to believe uh, we found some blood uh, we didn't find the bird mm -hmm. it was probably not a big bird uh, we did find some blood uh, in certain areas that that mm -hmm. probably are not Alberto's blood mm -hmm. okay. uh, the, the proof at the moment is almost impossible to have uh, what we do have proof is that we flown I I have flown myself this exact uh, speed, the exact uh, configuration, the exact plane okay. in the same, uh, all the parameters were the same yeah. and, and and we have not. Another thing is that Alberto has been doing t uh, flutter, yeah. uh, the flutter yeah. Yeah. tests yeah. Yeah. and he went way, I'm not, you know, way faster than the, than, yeah. than the record. What is a, a never exceed? The, the, it uh, depends on the altitude, you know, yeah. V&E. Uh, uh, the, the, the 916 is uh, close to, I think, uh, uh, four, uh, 450, the V&E. It depends on the altitude. But uh, 420 is the standard yeah. V&E. With uh, which kind of rescue system? Uh, the, the rescue system, we have a Yonkers uh, parachute. Yeah. And that is okay with 420? Well, of course, uh, you don't deploy the 420, mm. yeah. but I think uh, he deployed it, uh, um, I don't know the exact speed, but maybe between 250 and 300 almost. Mm. The never exceed speed should be the same as the highest speed you can use a parachute in I, Germany. I don't, uh, that is a very technical thing. I don't know the regulation, what it would be, but uh, it, you have to think that whatever, uh, if, if the plane goes 420, V&E, mm -hmm. and something happens, uh, you don't deploy. Whatever happens, the, the, the speed uh, after two seconds will be almost half. So maybe no, okay. there's no real, yeah. I would say, there yeah. probably no yeah. really yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, reason. What I can tell you, it's really comfortable, and I would really like to stay in this plane, but I think I have to go out now. <laughs> I know, you have to work. <laughs> Please, so, Andrea, tell me a little bit about this board. Yeah, this yeah? board, uh, it's uh, our story. We, we really are emotionally attached to the board because it's really, it's the summarizing uh, this epic, uh, you know, uh, challenge flight. Uh, we call it the Atlantic flight and the reason turned out to be the Atlantic, the Atlantic reason. So it's a, it's a storyboard. So it, it starts uh, from taking off in Bogera and then going to Scotland and then Scotland to Goose Bay. No stops, no refueling. 11 and a half hours at the bottom there are all the details as, as you can see of uh, every leg uh, with the fuel consumption speed and everything uh, it took us some time uh, to gather the data because of uh, you know two, two trips we made it nobody believed we could do it and we did it and uh, i think it's been the most uh, uh, pre adventure uh, um, epic uh, things i've done in my life that's no, really cool so andrea Thank you very much for being my guest. It was really, really interesting. Well, it's been such a pleasure. You are very aviation enthusiastic. For someone like me to have you come into our uh, stand, to our booth, has been, uh, has been terrific. And uh, I hope to see you in Italy. Come and visit us. You can come, try the reason, stay in Bulgaria, land there and come and visit us. I'll try to be there as well and, we can, uh, and you can become part of the reason family. It's a very nice invitation. Thank you very much, Andrea. Vielen, vielen Dank, dass ihr eingeschaltet habt. Schön, dass ihr dabei seid, auch wenn es äh, Englisch war. Ich hoffe, es hat euch Spaß gemacht. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. See you next time. Vielen Dank. Ciao, ciao.